Hi, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is your friend Han here, and uh, it is great to see you here tonight. And tonight, I'm very, very excited for a couple of reasons. And first of all, um, I finally get to introduce to you my other DJ friend who is also an internet marketer. Uh, his name's Anthony. Uh, he's gonna be uh, come on board here to share some uh, awesome tips on Facebook marketing, okay? So we all know uh, Facebook marketing is very important these days, but how do you do it right? And uh, uh, secondly, I get to introduce to you a fantastic Facebook uh, product made by him. And please allow me to introduce the Facebook Phantom, okay? You can see over here, a very nice e-cover. Anyway, so uh, um, what makes this a product a little bit different than the you know rest of Facebook uh, product out there is that you know most of Facebook product out there are basically the same thing. You know, build Facebook pages and get a lot of million fans and then start the marketing to them, right? I mean, that's the general idea there. I mean, there's probably a different way to do it. Uh, a little variation but I think this is the first course that I see out there teach people how to marketing to uh, Facebook group and you don't have to build uh, a fan base by using his method but most most importantly it's tested uh, he currently used this method made about ten thousand uh, dollars by using, using this method and he documented in case study style and we we all love those case studies right and we want to see exactly how people make that money without hiding anything. And that's exactly what he did. Then he took this exact same course, uh, gave to his students, the beta testers. Um, and just today, you know, as we're doing the interview, someone uh, has reported a $7,000 income uh, by using this method. So the, the, the moral of the story is that this thing works, okay? So, and, uh, and the third thing I really like about this product is the price. It's literally under ten dollars. Okay, um, it's made a very he made it very very affordable here. And uh, so you know, as me, um, I always want to get that you know early early bird prices. And I'm still trying, by the way. <laughs> but but you gotta look out for my email uh, to really really you know trying to get that. So I'm trying my best to get you that. Um, no promise yet, but uh, kind of look out for my email that I might. Um, so anyway. And the second thing I, I usually do is get them on to our little inter community and do an interview share, kind of, you know, drill the brain a little bit, kind of get that golden nuggets out of him, right? Whether or not you're buying the product, you'll learn a lot. Anyway, so that's the whole point. And so um, he was glad to do an interview with me. He was eager to do an interview with me, by the way. And uh, he got very, very excited. And uh, so he shared some awesome, awesome Facebook marketing tips inside this interview. Uh, for example, what to do, what not to do um, with it, uh, Facebook, and uh, how do you keep your ad advertising costs low, and um, what he likes about Facebook marketing. Um, I mean, obvious, obviously, all he does now uh, is Facebook marketing, and plus some offline clients, but um, that's what really his focus is on. And, uh, and uh, so you guys are gonna be really blown away by this little method here, and uh, um, without building, without spending much money, and without uh, you know spending all that time building a fan base, you can start to make money with this method. Does it require work? Just like anything else in life, it does require work. I mean, I didn't get to where I am by sitting around all the time. I mean, I'm sure you haven't either, right? So, uh, but you know, it's it's very nice to have to learn from the case study, step by step video format, and uh, it's actually three method in one. One's about using the group. The second one's about flipping uh, the fan pages. And third one is actually about Google Hangout. And uh, you get all this as front end. Um, front end. Well, Google Hangout is interesting too because it teaches you how to take the um, Hangout, bring to the Facebook, how to make a help with the local offline clients uh, to build up the buzz for the product and launches or all that great stuff. So you're gonna learn a lot how to actually embed the Google Hangout into the Facebook, okay, as, as thing goes to life, all that great stuff. So it's, it's, it's fascinating, it's very interesting. I think you're gonna absolutely love it, okay? So anyway, so this is your friend Han. Um, for now, please enjoy the interview. Uh, and uh, you know, if you wanna check out the sales letter before launch, make sure you click on the, all the buttons I have on this page up below and to the, my right or left. You get the whole idea, right? <laughs> So anyway, um, until this, next time, enjoy the interview, keep smiling, and this is your friend Han, and I'll be talking to you soon. Cheers. And, 
uh, it is great to see you here again. And today I'm very, very excited because uh, for the very first time I get Anthony here, who is also a DJ, so uh, and who is now also an internet marketer, to come here to share some awesome, awesome tips on Facebook. And uh, at the end of this interview, he's going to introduce a brand new product. He's going to coming out tomorrow. Uh, that is, he's going to put all the curtain back, review to you exactly how he made. Ten thousand dollars with Facebook uh, within just one month, I believe. So he's going to go into more detail into this, and you guys do want to pay attention to this. I, I would, I would grab a pen and paper ready and write a whole bunch of stuff down. And uh, and so you're going to learn what exactly you need to do to be success at Facebook marketing. So uh, before we get in all, into all this excitement, let's learn how Anthony got started with the internet marketing. Um, but most importantly, what did he exactly do? To finally become successful at internet marketing. So, uh, Anthony, would you be kind to of take over the mic? Can I share your unique internet marketing story with us today? Yeah, hand fan the man. Thanks a lot, brother, for having me on here. Uh, totally can tell you a little bit about my journey. Uh, essentially, I actually got started internet marketing in '99. Um, I was living in my parents' basement. I was a hockey player. I was in a chat room. And there was a woman on the chat room who needed a banner done for her website, and she said she was going to pay money to have this banner done. And at the time, you know, I was strapped for cash, and I was pretty desperate, and I just knew that something was resonating about that, and I decided to message her and take her up on the offer. She basically gave me details what she needed for the banner, and uh, I basically knew about Google. I knew that if you used Google, you could find information there. And I basically researched how to make a banner. I learned there was a program on my computer to make the banner. And essentially, it made the banner, sent it to her. She gave me some money. And I've stayed in contact with this woman. And basically, what she taught me is that if you do a task on the internet, people will give you money. Okay. And along that journey, I found out about outsourcing. And she gave me referrals after that point. And essentially, she was sending me more work than I could handle. So I, you know, I was finding companies on the internet where someone would uh, have uh, a team in India that would make banners, and they would charge a certain amount of money. So that I would take that amount of money, add my own profit to it, and I would kind of be the middleman. Right, so right. I've I've basically been doing that my, you know, my whole internet marketing career is is basically been in the middle, you know, finding people that have a problem and matching them with someone who has a solution, mm -hmm. um, and, and then you know. Over the years, I've discovered product creation. Uh, so I've launched 14 successful WSOs on the Warrior Forum. Okay. And uh, fast forward to today, um, you know, I have a, a large amount of uh, dentists that I actually work with uh, in a coaching program. And I kind of travel all over the world and, and help them make their business successful. And uh, during that time, I've kind of been uh, a little bit of a ninja on Facebook, making money and, uh, you know, networking with people along the way and alas we have uh, this course that we're going to talk about later so awesome awesome so uh, talk about some of the obstacle of doing this journey that you had and how did you overcome that well I mean it sounds simple to outsource uh, but um, one of the obstacles is time management and project management so when you have uh, a task that a client needs done and you give it to an outsourcer, I find that if you don't keep on top of them and follow up and ensure that the job is being done, it doesn't get done and that makes you look bad. So uh, one of the obstacles being young, I mean in 99, I was 13 years old. So one of the obstacles I found is people are outside playing, they're having a good time with their friends, going to the movies, dating, all that stuff. I'm sitting in front of my computer learning how to make money. So it, 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 I think it matured me. Um, really quickly, but you know, along the way, I found that you know, you know, project management, time management are important. Then, as I got more into the industry, I found that building relationships and tr and, and building trust with people uh, was an obstacle as well, because someone can you know say that they'll do something for you and then they don't. So it it, it takes um, it takes a lot of experience to to read people and understand that you know going forward with the concept or idea is going to work out in your favor or not so uh, my advice to people is that if they're getting started right now in, in the internet is to not take everything so literally not absorb all the information at one time try and focus on one thing and one thing only something that you're passionate about and try and and make money from that so yeah yeah 
And I totally agree. I think as an entrepreneur, you know, um, you can really learn that in, in school or in any business school is, uh, or in any management class is to deal with the people, uh, either your customer or uh, the people that who works for you. And that was the, uh, when you're switching from, uh, from an employee mindset, become your uh, own boss. And those are the skills that you have to experience to, uh, if you are a, a, a it's funny because when you have a job, you probably say you have the worst manager. Now you become the manager yourself. You have different perspective, and you gotta have to learn really how to deal with people's needs, ones, and timing, all that stuff. So that's something I have to personally overcome. So I have a more effective team uh, to run my business as well. Exactly, so. yeah, for sure. That's definitely something that cannot be taught in school. Definitely. Yeah, that just it's just kind of fun and exciting part about entrepreneur entrepreneurship. But it's also a, a challenge uh, for many people, uh, especially um, and you, you switching from that, hey, I just want to make some extra cash here uh, to now I'm taking this to the next level, which is a, a really serious business. So uh, that's something you really, really have to learn. Uh, unfortunately, you, you have to kind of learn from the real life experience, especially in the virtual world. You can't touch them, you can't see them, you can't hey, sit down with them in an office. It, it's, a, it's a better challenge there. No, totally. Actually, I think Google Hangouts is kind of a way to overcome some of those problems because I can look at you, I can kind of get the idea that, you know, I can see into your eyes, yes, you're legit or no, you're not, as opposed to on an instant message or a Facebook chat. You don't even know if that profile picture is the person, right? Right. So, right. Uh, I think you know these types of conversation are are much more beneficial. But of course, in person always works out best, right? So. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I think as an internet marketer, we, we don't have that luxury in person. Right. Uh, you know, right. in the right place. But um, there are ways to get around and work though. But that's not topic of this interview right now. Um, let's let's talk about Facebook. Let's talk about first of all, why did you pace? You know. Uh, focus on Facebook and choose as one of your main focus. Secondly, for those who are not on Facebook, why is it important to start at least pay attention to Facebook? Why, in, in other words, why is Facebook marketing important in, in, in today's market condition right now? No, oh, totally. Um, essentially, I'm all in with Facebook at this point. Um, okay. It's my number one business model. Uh, Facebook is the largest marketing vehicle online to date. Uh, it has over 1 billion active users as we're talking right now online. Uh, so it's just, it's an incredible way to communicate with people. But what people don't understand is when they're on Facebook, the average person who's not an internet marketer is essentially a marketing guinea pig. They're going on there, they're liking TV shows, uh, products that they like. When Every time you're clicking the like button, you're essentially helping us internet marketers to make money because you're basically saying, this is what I like, this is what I don't like. So for someone who's not on Facebook but is looking to make money, just know that this is an area, this is a tool that you can use to generate data and, and, and make money off people who are, are, are saying what they like and what they don't like. Uh, so, you know, it's just, it's the place to be. Uh, it's a great way to, to be friends with pretty much any income bracket. I mean, I can't go, you know, into a public area or even a networking event and meet people who are eight, nine, ten figure earners. But I can go on Facebook and I could find Richard Branson or Donald Trump's Facebook page, like it, and follow what they're doing. And, and maybe if I do something interesting enough, I can get their attention. You know, you have those opportunities now that you wouldn't in real life, right? So, um, I think uh, I, I think Facebook is like a marketer's dream because it is. It collects all the data that as a marketer need, like demographic data, uh, and you're not really doing blind marketing like t television ads, like uh, uh, newspaper newspaper ads or magazine ads. I mean, they're they're somewhat demographic targeted, but Facebook you can really Really target to a target to target to a, a you can even target to specific one person if you really want to target that one person sell something, and uh, uh, that that's dream come true for marketers because uh, uh, if you look at old time direct marketers that's essentially what they do they found uh, a great product that matched the great demographics um, and and back in the days you had to spend like millions of dollars to buy this data 
Now yep. Facebook, you know, as long as you're using the ad system, they give you all that for free. So, um, and it's 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 like a beginning of AdWords, like uh, almost like Google AdWords before, and and the ads is so cheap. On the Facebook as well, so um, it, it's it, if you're not into Facebook, you need to pay attention because don't don't make the mistakes that uh, I made. Is is who who needs who needs uh, who needs Facebook when I got a, you know free free uh, uh, SEO ranking search engine and you know um, and and then who needs Facebook right? And uh, boy, I was wrong. So uh, and uh, that's why I kind of invite Tony here to talk about this. Totally. Um, another example why Facebook's great, think about if you're a local coffee shop. Before Facebook came out, people would come in, they buy a coffee, they go home. You have no way of communicating with those customers to tell there's a new, there's a special at lunch or there's a new, you know, coffee that, that's coming up or whatever. Now with Facebook, as long as you're telling your customers we have a Facebook page, maybe you give them a business card with the URL, everyone has a mobile smartphone now. So they could be at work, they could be you know, on vacation, whatever, you can now communicate on your page and tell them what's going on with your business and you can generate, you know, get, get business coming through the door a lot more fluidly as opposed to before you'd have to buy a yellow page ad, you'd have to buy flyers and it was just really expensive and you nailed it. It's, the clicks are so cheap now for advertising and, and the best part is you already have existing customers for your coffee shop, for example. But now you can go create an ad and target people who enjoy coffee or who like Starbucks. And it, for example, if you target someone that likes Starbucks, you can undercut them by, you know, saying, "Do you like cafe lattes?" Well, you know, cut, mention this code and you know, get one free if you come in this morning or whatever. It, there's just so much flexibility in how you can target people that uh, it's just it's just unheard of. It, it's it is like you said, a marketer's dream. So. Yeah. So I I, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, um, I'm just trying to look smart, you man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, so I think uh, um, um, I think that you know Facebook can actually go kind of different ways, um, and I think uh, um, which is kind of lead to the next question. By the way, is that if you don't know what Facebook is, oops, I just draw my glasses there. Um, if you don't know how to work in the system. Um, you might like what you did there before. We talked a little bit before. Is you you end up losing a lot of money because you don't know how to exactly to buy those you know ads cheaply, right? right. And you know how exactly how to market. But if you learn a system, just like you're riding a bike, you know, first couple of times you're gonna fall, you're gonna scrape your knees, and you're gonna you know probably start crying stuff. But once you get used to the motion of biking, then you lo love to ride a bike every day. So this is kind of what Facebook and you know marketing system is. So let's talk about. What is the, you know, most often mistakes that either you made or your customer made or your student made or your client made when it comes to Facebook marketing? And, and how do you overcome those mistakes? Well, essentially, um, I find that the number one mistake people make uh, with Facebook marketing would be with advertising. Uh, the Facebook ads that you see on the right-hand side or in your news feed. People, like you said, they're falling off their bike, but they're falling off uh, their bike down a mountain with edgy rocks when they're when they dive into Facebook advertising, and because what they're trying to do is they're trying to advertise their website on Facebook, and Facebook really doesn't appreciate that by spending money and then taking the visitor off of Facebook to your website. If you want to do that, that's fine, but they're going to charge. Uh, it's going to cost you a lot more to do that. Uh, on average, it's going to cost you about four times or five times more. Uh, cost per click to send someone out of Facebook as opposed to what they want you to do and what's taken me a long time to figure out is they want you to send the traffic to a Facebook page or a Facebook group inside of Facebook because that keeps them on the site longer and it, it keeps you know people spending money on Facebook longer and the engagement rises and also they're in it for Google. The longer someone's staying on a website, the you know, the better the user experience. So the rankings go up as well for pages. So that was my number one realization was that let's stop sending traffic to uh, my website and let's create a page and send the traffic in by generating likes to the page. And what I've realized by doing that is the status updates that you can create on your page can then target to your website. So 
where I was spending two to three dollars a click to send someone to my page, I'm now spending two to three cents to send someone to my Facebook page, and then once in a while I'm telling them, hey, check out this new blog post on my website, and everyone who liked the page is arriving there. So I think if people can, you know, stop sending traffic out of Facebook and sending them to their page, they're going to save a lot of money. Now, is this, is this something that, uh, once you learn it, pretty easy to do? Oh, no. Uh, it's, it's, it's essentially really easy to do. Um, m making Facebook ads is just all about split testing, um, basically variations of, of different things, uh, such as the image that's displayed in the ad, the headline uh, that, that grabs the, the Facebook user's attention, and the ad copy. Uh, my recommendation always is to make, you know, 10 uh, different images and see which one gets the cheapest clicks for the most likes, the biggest bang for your buck. And then once you have an image, you work on your headline. And once you've got a good headline, you work on your text. And then that becomes your control. And once you have a control, Facebook ads is a walk in the park because all you're then doing is tweaking that little ad once in a while to prevent what's called banner blindness and you know, pretty much anyone can do it. You know, I'm, I, I, you actually mentioned before AdWords. This is like the new AdWords, but AdWords, I always found it difficult. I found that there's just too many settings to go about it. Facebook is really like bing, bang, boom. Tell us the what you want to target, tell us who you want to target, and tell us how much you want to spend. It's really that simple, and it, pretty much anyone can do it. So, Okay, cool, awesome. So, uh, and I think another... Like another most asked question I get is, what is the difference between um, group and page? And as a marketer, um, how do you approach this two different thing differently? Uh, what angles should you put approaching them? That's a great question. Um, essentially, uh, groups and pages are places where people that have uh, a passionate interest go to. Now, a page is supposed to be created by a brand or an organization the official users of that brand or organization are supposed to run a page. So anyone who likes that brand or organization can like the page and they can see updates and things that are going on about the brand or organization or the company. Groups are unofficial special interest area the pages to go to. So you and I can run a Starbucks group but only Starbucks can run a Starbucks page. They ha they own the rights to that. So um, I, I notice a lot of times people will start up a, a Starbucks group for their just their neighborhood Starbucks, like employees of that Starbucks. And I find that you know if someone's going to be late or sick, they go on there, and the people who are part of that Starbucks go in and they communicate with each other. You can also favorite sport teams or or favorite race car or whatever interests that. Uh, that people have but they're not part of the official brand are part of the groups and that that to me is where the gold mine is and it's the most overlooked area of Facebook uh, in my opinion yeah and a lot of people um, are teaching you how to marketing on Facebook page and mm -hmm. but the very few courses out there actually teach you how to work the group that's so, right, and yeah. as a matter of fact, there's all these courses out there that teach you uh, make a I love German Shepherd page, mm -hmm. but German Shepherds are uh, a dog. They're an entity. No one officially is the German Shepherd. So technically, in terms of a terms of service, that that's not what you should be doing at all. You should be making an I love German Shepherd group. Oh, right, okay. because you, you share an interest in it, but you're not officially part of that dog per se. Mm -hmm. So, and also the one benefit to groups over pages that most people probably don't know is you can create a chat with all the members of the group. You oh, can wow. literally, I didn't know that. right with a page. You cannot chat with your members. You can only create a status update, and if if their edge rank is in line, which means they check the page a lot, they'll see it in their news feed. But you can literally, in a group, you can select all people or some people and then create a chat and you can, I wouldn't say spam them, but you could you could basically go in the group and say, tonight we're going to have a chat about how to groom your German Shepherd. 
uh, be sure to check it out, and then everyone who says they want in, you can add them in the, the chat and then talk to them. Uh, it's extremely effective, and it, it basically creates uh, much more engagement with your audience, I think. so. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to get back to there in a, in a, in a little bit here. Um, do you have, my final question is, do you have any more like golden nuggets or, or, or special tips about Facebook marketing uh, you could share with my uh, friends who's watching this right now? Oh, yeah. Um, I definitely have a few uh, that has taken me a long time to learn. It's cost me a lot of money to figure out. And uh, I think anyone watching this video uh, should immediately take action after and, and apply these two things that I'm about to share with them. Uh, the first one is all about self-image. When someone adds you as a friend, what do they see in your profile? Do they see someone who's successful? Do they see someone who's loving life? Do, do they see someone who's got a family, their kids? Or do they see someone who is a bum, someone who's partying all the time, someone who um, just isn't successful? Um, and if the answer to that question is you're that person who doesn't portray that successful image, well, I highly suggest you go get yourself a haircut, a nice shirt, and your, your phone, go in front of a nice city view or get someone to take a, a picture of you looking sharp and clean and make that your new profile picture tomorrow because the type of people you'll attract by looking successful will completely change your life. The connections, the journey that you'll be on will completely change overnight. Secondly, also, your cover, that big, nice rectangular box behind you, that also represents you. So either get a professional graphics artist to make a image there that tells all the services that you offer. Or let's say you just went on a vacation. Show a picture of you on the beach or a nice scene. Something that portrays success that also coincides with your profile picture will do wonders. Uh, because when anytime I'm in a group and I see someone that's talking, I'll put my mouse over their little profile picture and it will show both their profile and their timeline photo. If it's a picture of some, you know, rock concert and someone, you know, with a bunch of Jaeger bombs in their hand, I'm not interested in doing business with someone like that. They might have money, but that's not going to help me on my journey, right? So I'll just skip over them. So that's my first uh, a, a bit of advice. Number two is you need to have some leaders in your life that you want to strive to be like, and and you need whatever industry it's in, if it's in internet marketing, uh, if it's in sports, whatever, you need to find those people on Facebook and you need to try and get their attention. So anytime you see a leader in a group or a page that makes a really good post, like it. And anytime you see them commenting later, like it. As a matter of fact, me personally, I'm in about two or three hundred really good internet marketing groups on Facebook. And I like everything. I like every single thing. I just click like, like, like all day long. I actually have two outsourcers that I hired on Odesk that <laughs> also do that for me when I'm sleeping. I am liking cool. things 24-7. And every time I wake up in the morning, I have 50 to 100 people adding me on Facebook just because I'm liking what they have to say. And mm -hmm. the conversations I have after are just beautiful. And, and to add to that, once someone does add you from you know, putting all your effort in liking everything, be cool about it. Don't just paste your link to your product right away. Just say, hey, brother, how's it going? You know, like someone who you'd meet, you know, in, in your day-to-day -day life. How, how do you meet new people? How do you talk to them? If you're shy, just say, hey, how's it going? Thanks for adding me. And wait for them to respond, you know. If, if they're better at, you know, communicating and being social than you are, let them kind of lead the conversation and then go from there. And lastly, if you do have the intention of selling something to someone at some point, let at least one to two, three weeks go by before you even start bringing it up and almost wait for them to pitch first. Because if they have something to pitch, they're going to be more susceptible to your pitch later. Because everyone's trying to sell something on Facebook at some point in time in our industry. So be the one to follow it at that instead of trying to lead it. Because if you're giving them your product right away, you might scare them off or you might look like you're desperate, right? And you don't want to portray that either. So I think you apply those two things, you'll be good to go. Awesome. Those are, those are awesome uh, Facebook tips. I know a lot of people uh, did exactly what you did got my attention. So um, 
Yeah, so let's talk about this uh, awesome product of yours, which you're going to actually launching tomorrow. Let's talk about the name and time to launch first. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Facebook Mayhem is the name of the uh, the WSO that's launching on the Warrior Forum tomorrow, uh, which is Saturday, September 21st at 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and uh, right now, there is a thread that's live, um, but uh, the sales page will go um, updated at that point. So, Okay, so mm -hmm. let's talk about what is this uh, course covers and uh, uh, who should be really getting this? Who's going to be really benefit from this? Well, my philosophy uh, in life is helping anyone make money. It doesn't matter what your skill level is, whether you're a beginner or an advanced marketer like yourself. Uh, I want to help everyone make as much money as possible all the time. So this course does exactly that. Whether you have a Facebook account or not, if you don't have one, just make one. It's very simple to do. At that point in time, once you log in, everyone's on an even level playing field. And essentially, this course teaches you how to make money by approaching groups, selling them t-shirts, building up pages, flipping them for money, and also working with clients offline and getting commercials built into their Facebook page and making money for doing that. And, and essentially this course is just a massive case study like you mentioned earlier in the course, uh, in this conversation. Myself in August 2013 alone, I've made over 10 grand so what I did is I just recorded my journey along the way of doing this, broke it down nice and simple, and alas, we have Facebook Mayhem, which goes over everything. Yeah, it's awesome because not many people do this kind of case study courses because everybody kind of want to hold the secret to themselves. So it's great that you actually uh, come out and share with everyone. That's that's what kind of unique about this course. Um, let, let's talk about what exactly. Uh, are they going to get the video format? Are they get a PDF, or uh, or are they get a mind map? So what do you, what are they expecting to get? And the, what are they getting in the front end offer um, as as part of the purchase? Investment? Well, um, yeah, the front end offer. Once uh, you make the purchase of Facebook Mayhem, you're going to arrive into the members area, which is going to have uh, five videos that are embedded, which you have instant access to, and you can play right away. And those go over each module. So there's uh, four modules, and one of the modules uh, is broken down into two videos. Uh, just you know, and you'll see why once you're inside. Uh, and there's a couple bonuses below that. So it's all laid out nice and simple on a page. You don't need a login or any fancy stuff like that. It's just instant access right away. So. Okay. Awesome. So um, what what is the starting point for the uh, front end? And how many uh, is it on dime sale, or is it, uh, how how long are you gonna keep this special offer open? Uh, it's not on the dime sale, so the price remains at nine dollars and ninety seven cents, and I'm gonna keep it on the Warrior Forum for two weeks. Uh, and after that point, it's being completely removed. No one's gonna have access to it. And I've actually already applied to Udemy, and I've got the course approved on there, and it's going to be ten to twenty times more in price. Uh, once it's on there, it'd be the same course, but a uh, different price point. So for action takers, this is something that they got to buy tomorrow for sure. Okay, awesome. So, and what is the OTO? I think you you have, I don't know, you have more than one, right? But uh, I just have one OTO, okay. uh, and uh, it's called Facebook Clicks Reloaded, and it's myself and two of the top Facebook advertising gurus on the internet. Chris Blair and Matt Stefanik. Um, they actually created the Two Cent Facebook uh, course months of, months back, um, and there's literally been about 12 courses that have copied theirs since. So they're the original guys. They uh, worked with me exclusively to make this new course, which goes over all brand new tactics, how to get cheap clicks on Facebook that no one else has even thought about. Um, so this is going to be the uh, one-time offer that you will see once you uh, make the purchase of Facebook Mayhem. That has a price point of $67. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, we add up all the value in the video, and it's like thousands of dollars of, of information that you're getting because literally no one's doing any of this concept. But the best part that none of these other Facebook advertising courses are doing is it teaches you there's three different modules. There's a beginner, an intermediate, and an advanced. This will handhold you all the basics, how to make a Facebook page, 
like literally from scratch, how to how to advertise to it. Then an intermediate level is you know how to you know change your targeting up, how to do some split testing, and the advanced stuff is is a real good stuff. Is you know more like how to copyright, how to get people's attention, how to integrate Craigslist. There's all kinds of fun stuff that's going on in the back, and we, we get more detail into that. Um, but the the whole point of Facebook Mayhem is I left out how to advertise on Facebook because it's just such a mammoth. It's a beast. It requires a lot of attention, and I personally am not the largest expert in Facebook ads. Okay, so essentially. Uh, I've been working very hard to get in touch with these two top dogs, built a relationship with them, and convinced them to build an exclusive course only for the Facebook Mayhem customers. So no one else is ever going to get access to this. Uh, and it's just unbelievable information, and it, it, it's really going to put people ahead of the game because they're going to have first access to things that no one else can do with Facebook advertising. Okay, so that that sounds awesome. And uh, but I got a, one tough questions for you. Um, this is for those people who are kind of on the borderline. They say, "Hey, this sounds interesting," but you know, I'm not so sure yet. So uh, this is a tough question because uh, I'm gonna ask you this. So this course sounds very interesting. Sounds all awesome, all that stuff. So, but why should I get it? What 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 makes this course stands out? What makes this a uh, uh, course different than the you know 200 million other <laughs> Facebook? Uh, Facebook products that's out there, or, or you know, or courses that are training out there. Well, um, myself, uh, I'm a consumer, so I've bought tons and tons of Facebook courses out there, and you know, I know all the material's been rehashed, and uh, everyone's using it. So my goal here was to make a course where all the material inside is fresh, it's new, no one's using it. So. By purchasing Facebook Mayhem, you're going to have access to how I made over 10 grand using Facebook and how anyone else can do the same. And the unique selling point here, to be honest with you, is Facebook groups and, and, and learning the psychology on how to convince the admins of these groups to do the selling for you and split the profit with them. Now, there's a lot of leaders out there who are you know, launching Facebook courses left, right, and center, and they're literally telling you, Build a Facebook page, send advertising to it, build a Teespring campaign, post the, the, the Teespring campaign on it, make money. It sounds simple, and a lot of people are telling you to do it, but it's not. And the problem with that is it's not newbie friendly to just tell someone to make a page. Number two, it requires money to do the advertising to build up these pages. And if you're not experienced, you're going to lose a lot of money. And number three is if you don't understand it, how to market to these people, then just posting a t-shirt is going to make you no sales. So the beauty about Facebook Mayhem is number one, you don't need to know how to build a page. All you need to know is how to search groups and we go over exactly how to do that. Number two, it requires no money. All you have to do is be a little bit social and, and convince the admins of these groups to post your Teespring campaign. And, and number, you have, uh, you have uh, for those who are afraid to approach people, you have a full email template, message template in there. All they do is paste, copy and paste, right? Exactly. Uh, in my case study, uh, I actually have a conversation where I convinced a Facebook group owner uh, to post the Teespring link. Over 14 emails we conversed back and forth. I literally copy and pasted all those emails for myself and the recipient. And all you have to do is, is, is copy and paste those swipes and just rinse and, and repeat all over the place. Best part about it is there's literally like a hundred million groups on Facebook. It's impossible to get saturated with this. And best of all, you have myself and a bunch of really strong leaders in a VIP Facebook group who will work hand in hand with you if you ever run into any objections or you're having some trouble getting the attention that you're looking for, we'll help you. We'll make sure you're able to do that. So. Yeah, and you want to kind of quickly share a, a brand new testimonial just come in? Yeah, actually, uh, this morning I woke up. I was uh, getting ready for our uh, interview with you, actually, mm -hmm. and uh, a member who joined in the pre-launch, Craig, uh, posted that he actually made close to $7,000 using the techniques that were taught in Facebook Mayhem. Uh, he literally contacted a group, uh, worked them over about, I think he said three or four emails, got them to paste the Teespring uh, t-shirt in there, and they're still actively over 800 t-shirts have been sold. Oh, and, 
He's never heard of this method before. This was his first time trying it, and he's just going nuts. Um, and he's going to take the profit from that. He literally told me today he's going to be contacting outsourcers and, and getting in the face of as many groups as possible. He's keeping the niche that he used the secret. I actually don't even know. <laughs> I wish I did, but he, he took the information, he took action of what was taught in Facebook Mayhem, and, and he's, he made almost seven grand. So good on him, but the great news is you watching this video right now can do the exact same thing. Um, as we speak, I'm literally making like $300 a day from Teespring. I have just t-shirts that are just selling out on all kinds of groups. You do the math, that's $9,000 right there. And then I'm flipping a page about once a month and there's your over 10 grand. So it's really that simple and uh, it's just proven. So Awesome, awesome. And uh, so um, I think uh, I have all the questions. Um, okay, let's talk about, okay, so the product is going to launch in tomorrow, Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you kind of look out for my emails and get my bonuses and my exclusive review for this. And uh, if you want to check out a overview, um, what he covers inside the course, uh, please click on the e-cover, I think, to that side, which is, I always get upset, but you will see an e-cover, link above and link below. Click on it. It will give you uh, to preview the sales letter, sales letter before the launch, and you can also see it watching a, uh, a kind of overview video, what exactly to get inside the course as well. So, and and uh, Anthony, I think I have all the questions I need to ask you here today. Uh, before we leave here today, do you do you have any final words um, of wisdoms, maybe? Well, you know, I'm a man of action, and uh, for anyone out there whose life is just, it, something's just not clicking for them, they're struggling, I know the economy is just in the tank, and, you know, you're, you're looking for a way to just change your life, finally make some money on the internet, pick up Facebook Mayhem, you won't regret it, I'm here for you at every step of the way, obviously you're not going to be able to, to do it exactly like I did, that's why, you know, we have a team here for you. So, you know, Saturday, you got all weekend to make it happen. You pick up this course, you follow all the videos. By Monday, you never know. You could see some money rolling in. So change your life now. It's about time. And uh, I look forward to see you all on the other side. All right. Thank you again, Anthony. And uh, Thanks, on, that, on that note, and I'm um, sure we'll be talk to you soon. You too, buddy. Take care. Right. Cheers. Mm -hmm.